Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Maribel Feliciano and I am the owner of Daydream Creations where I like to focus on creating uh, cute and uplifting content and creativity. Uh, today is going to be a very very long video um, compared to what I typically do. Uh, it's basically just going to be a bunch of behind the scenes stuff of getting ready for a market um, so it's gonna have market prep it's going to show you how I make stickers and um, so a little bit of bank information just just normal like everyday entrepreneurial type of activities that you would see or that you would you would do as a small business owner so I, you're gonna see a little bit of that today um, but just be aware that it is pretty long so those of you who do decide to stick around thank you for watching the video and I hope you enjoy it hello good morning um, okay so today is all about running errands and uh, lots of paperwork um, I have to go to the bank I have to Oh my hair. Anyways, so I have to go to the bank. So I have a business account at the bank, but they are usually using my social security number. And I finally have like a real EIN number. So I have to go over there and I have to get that all set up and everything like that and a bunch of other things. Um, I also have to buy some packing supplies because I have to ship out an order. And um, I have to do some more prep work for the upcoming market that's going to be next week uh, so that's exciting <laughs> um, so we are going to have a busy weekend I have to make sure that all my ducks are in the row before next weekend all right so I went to the bank today um, I went to the bank I was like hey I want to put my EIN number into this business account that I already have it's a whole thing like my oh my gosh let me start over okay <laughs> So I went to the bank today and uh, I got there. I thought things were going to run smoothly. It turns out that it did not run smoothly. <laughs> um, so apparently there was a situation where my business name is under the wrong name somehow. So, <clears throat> so I own the name Daydream Creations and then on the paper it says Daydream Creations LLC but then on other parts of the paper like my certificate it says something completely different and then if you look through there's like three pages and you look through then it has a completely different name and then underneath that a different name as well so on my paperwork for some reason I have four different names on legal legit paperwork so <laughs> so I, I didn't I didn't finish setting up my new business account because I have my I have my old business account still set up and everything but that is different we don't want it anymore we're trying to do this new one and ow. and I can't do that because of this issue now she said that I could if I wanted to keep that name that's on the paper on there and then we can put my business name account bank account on that name but I don't want that I that's not the name that I want it's I mean it's similar I suppose but it's not the name that I want it's not the name that I think portrays what my business stands for and I'm like if I were to go with that name then I would have to rework my whole like the whole thing <laughs> I just have to rework the whole entire thing like my my logo and all that stuff and I really 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 do not want to have to do that if I can avoid it so apparently I have to go ahead and make some phone calls but it is the weekend they are not open so I could not so here we are back at square one well back at the house <laughs> that's what I did today um but I suppose moving forward for the rest of the night 
what should I do? Maybe I'll just uh, maybe I'll just paint and just kind of relax a little bit, get some painting in, fix some of the stuff that I started and I'm not happy with, and then um, that's it. I think then then we'll call it a night. All right, well uh, let's go do that. Hello and good morning. Today is December 15, because tomorrow's the 16th, and tomorrow is my Christmas market. Well, it's um, it's a Nutcracker Ballet market. <laughs> so basically, they're going to have a ballet going on, and then I'm going to be one of the vendors that are just like there in the lobby so today we are actually going to be focusing on all the last minute details that i have to do in order for me to be prepared for tomorrow last year i, I had a table it was a six foot table and i split it with one of my friends um so she had her stuff there i had my stuff and we we didn't really plan things very well um we kind of just showed up set up the best that we could with the little bits that we had and then hoped for the best. But this year I have invested in more things to elevate my table. Unfortunately though, I didn't really think things through properly where I thought that I would have enough stock for this event and enough stock for the store and that just did not happen. So I got a certain amount and I had to split between here and the other store. Instead, I got everything in for the market um, because that was gonna come sooner than I thought I needed to restock the store. That's not what happened. So now I have to split what I got from for the market and I had to put it into the store as well so it's I'm all over the place I messed up and so my stock is limited I did make like a little display and everything it looks it's it's fine it's fine it could be better if I had more stock I feel like I could have made it look a little bit better but <clears throat> since I'm splitting the table again with my friend um we were able to fill up the table 
and it's it's it looks fine <laughs> so so i mean i can go ahead and show you that a little bit later right now what i want to do is actually show you some of the products that i'm actually going to be bringing in or bringing to the market first let's start with the sticker for this collection so this is the nutcracker collection so i made this little nutcracker you might have seen him last year i guess my first christmas collection actually but he is about three inches and he's shiny and glittery and he's beautiful and i love him and he's super cute oops i dropped him i made um bookmarks i have always had bookmarks but i never had these little tassels i have the tassel and then on the back is the signature shiny backing this is my notebook spiral notebook it does have like that frosted cover and then on the inside it's a little bit brighter ignore the price on there that's for the market and then on the inside it's manila paper all right so then next these i had last year they are the mugs the holidays are nuts mugs and they're printed on both sides so you know right-handed left-handed um these are i believe 11 ounce mugs so those will be sold there as well um next we have the tumblers these are the tumblers it is the nutcracker all over just patterned he's super cute look at him and then it comes with um it comes with the metal straw and it comes with a straw cleaner um next i have tote bags so it's a full print cloth tote and i can do front and back so this one i have um the pattern on the back and then the holidays are nuts on the front and it's a pretty decent size like this is the size of my almost almost full torso like this could be a shirt that's how big it is all right see there you go see oh it's so cute and you're like walking around and stuff i went to the bank the other day and i had this and i was wearing my sweater and um the lady was like oh my gosh i love your stuff and i was like thank you i made it myself <laughs> So I'm gonna have tote bags there. And last but not least, my Christmas sweater. <laughs> Look how good that came out. I'm so happy with these. These are 100% cotton sweaters. Um, and then inside they have my logo. Um, and then on the inside it also tells you the size and what it's made out of. And then on the bottom like how to take care of it and stuff. So there's that. So that is the collection for the nutcrackers um the holidays are nuts collection and i'm really happy with how things came out honestly i will say some things i would love to change for the future but that that'll be a next year thing obviously because <laughs> we're already in the middle of december i also have <sighs> another collection that will be there and it's uh meowy christmas so it's a cat with a santa claus hat um let me go ahead and grab those so you can see those really quick so this is a smaller collection so we don't have a sticker we don't have tote bags i do have the bookmark and it's shiny it's cute it says meowy christmas the back has that pink foil and a pretty little what's this thing called tassel to go with it we also have the mugs and i was going to do a red handle on the side here and red on the inside however didn't look like it was going to come out the way i wanted it to so i opted out for just white white on white on white on white and then this would just pop so whatever but that's the mug and it says meowy christmas and it's a little kitty cat wearing his little hat and again it is double-sided so right-handed left-handed however you drink notebooks same size, A5, kitty cat, front and back, and then finally, well actually not finally, but close to finally, um, we have a tumbler. These are my Maui Christmas sweaters, and they're cute. This one's not mine, I'm not keeping it. Um, I'm actually going to gift this one to somebody else. So my friend, she paints nutcrackers, and they're so cute cute and then she also did little bird houses so they're like gingerbread houses bird houses but i will show you a couple of them i can't bring them all out at once but i'll show you a couple of them this is what she has done so these are little bird houses but she made them into little gingerbread houses like little gingerbread bird houses there's one here's another one and then they all have different like designs on them i don't know why i grabbed the ones that looked exactly the same just different colors 
and then these oh, these are these are legit the star of the show like i when we went over there last time people were obsessing over these so we have this guy he's a little bear polar bear and he's so cute oh my gosh he's so cute i might end up buying something myself although i did i did request her to do um riley my dog <laughs> So maybe I'll just buy those and I don't have to buy these, but we'll see. We'll see because I mean, they're so cute. She almost sold out last year. Like almost everything was gone. So I know that these are going to be a big hit, but she is also an author. And so she made this book. It's a children's book. Um, I'm also going to be taking this to the show. Yeah, so those are her things. So that's what she's bringing. But she's done like a, a good amount that it, it does fill up the table a lot better than like my stuff. Um, but I've been talking for way too long. So I, I'm pretty sure you are all caught up. So we are going to move forward and um, actually start doing the stuff. So it says it's a 3x3 three three right here. I wonder if you can select, share. Alright, so we're gonna get rid of these. And we're going to upload. Uh, not from here, we're gonna upload. Nope. Yeah. I'm really hoping this is correct. It should be. So, whoa, yeah, that's too close. <laughs> um, okay, so, so we're only gonna print out one copy for now because I need to see if these even come out right. Because before, um, I was trying to make them and they were too small. And since they were too small, well, one, they were coming out pixelated, and two, I think there was even this, a, a point where it it wasn't even coming out at all. Like it wouldn't even let me attempt it. So we're gonna try this, we're gonna see how it comes out, and then we can go ahead and print out a couple more. So, let's do that. Okay, it looks like these came out fine. They're fine. <laughs> so, um, what I'm gonna do with these, since it's on matte paper, I like to put um, the sparklies on top. Uh, can you see that? They're little, like, little tiny stars. I like to do the stars during the winter time to make them feel a little bit more magical. Ooh, that was almost... <laughs> oh, that, I almost messed that one up. You know, last time I was doing this with the nutcracker ones, I kept messing up on the size of these. And so I would have at least one nutcracker uh, with just a little bit of no sparkle. Um, I like to put laminates on my matte stickers because the matte stickers, they're not water resistant like my glossy stickers. But I also stopped using my glossy stickers recently because I was trying to find a different um, set of stickers for one of my clients. Oh shoot, I just messed that up, dang it. For one of my clients, because my glossy stickers were water resistant, that she liked, but they were too glossy and they couldn't go on her products because of that. So I was trying to find a new set of glossy stickers that would work better for her, but I haven't been able to find anything yet. And I was thinking if I can find one that's better for her, maybe I can find one that will equally be better for me. All right, it looks like I have two stickers that are not gonna work for this round. So, until I can find some really good glossy stickers, uh, I think I'm gonna stick with the matte for a little while, but I'm not really sure just yet. My matte is no longer sticky. So I'm just gonna use the leftovers here to tape it down. Wow, it doesn't even stick on here. That's how bad it is. That's not good. Well, I mean, it sticks on there at least. Fine. I'll use tape. 
gosh, this looks so bad. Can you tell I feel like I'm being rushed right now? <laughs> when I start feeling like I'm running out of time, I start to panic and I do like weird things like this. <laughs> That's not gonna work. Smiley face. All right, this is what I'm gonna do instead. I don't have my scissors right now. I don't know where they are. All right, well, hopefully, <laughs> oh my gosh. I hope that doesn't mess anything up. If it does, uh, then I learned my lesson. All right, let's go ahead and put this in. Okay, I think that's all I'm gonna do for stickers. If they sell out, they sell out. Um, I can always make more for the next day. I suppose we should just move on to the next task. Tumblr care instructions. making the tumblr care instructions so next next on the list is mug pricing that'll do okay we'll do that one whoa man my hair is looking all types of crazy today and i don't know what to do about it i'm gonna have to wear a hat <laughs> or dye it back completely ponytail day 
Yeah, probably. All right, well, we'll let that print. So I'll be back. All right, so this one should be easier. So I don't have to laminate anything. Just gotta tape it down. Ah! Oh, well, all right. I just barely got that. Oh my gosh. Okay, I have absolutely no idea what is going on with this thing, but apparently it doesn't want to cut this either. Not entirely sure. Nothing's covered up, so... I don't know. I don't... I'm gonna have to hand cut these, which is... I just ripped that. But it looks like I'm gonna have to hand cut these, so... I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna do it off camera. Never mind, can't hand cut, don't know how. Look how bad that is. Do you see? That's not a circle, that's lumpy. Ah! Okay, so, <laughs> um, basically the rest of the video is just me uh, prepping some of the paper and just, just cutting the rest of the sheets and stickers and stuff. Um, so I'm just going to do a little bit of a voiceover. So I am recording this voiceover much, much, much later than, than when, when I actually went to the market. Um, and so it might be a little bit fuzzy, but I do remember that it did go well and it was quite fun. We sold out of nutcrackers. Um, literally made bank on those nutcrackers. It's absolutely insane. <laughs> and then I did sell some of my items. And in terms of me versus uh, my friend, um, she definitely brought in most customers and uh, made more of a profit than I did. But it's still, at the end of the day, I did turn a profit. So it wasn't like I lost anything. But I, I think that maybe I should have a wider selection of items for the future. Um, so I'll have to keep that in mind for next year. But yeah, I'm not gonna give any totals or anything like that because I'm still really new in this business adventure thing. And uh, me talking about prices really isn't, isn't my thing just yet. It's a little bit, I wanna keep that a little bit private for at least a little while <laughs> until I know what I'm doing, you know? But we did make a profit. It was successful. Uh, people absolutely loved our stuff. And I, I just hope that we are invited for next year. And I'm just going to take uh, everything from this year. Uh, kind of see if I can make it even better for next year or even the next market. So. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any footage of the market. I mean, I did have some on my phone, but I don't really know where that stuff is. So this is all we get, but I will also say the foot traffic was smaller than I had anticipated, but it wasn't, it wasn't bad. So like the first night, the foot traffic was really, really good. The second day was not as good. Still, anyway, so I did talk to some of the vendors. They were pretty cool. I like them. Um, uh, they they were pretty new as well, to my knowledge, except for one the one lady that I talked to. Um, she seemed she seemed like she's been doing it for quite some time, and she had some amazing candles. It's actually uh, the candle burning back and I'm burning it right now, and it smells delicious. <laughs> but anyways. I'm just starting to ramble on and on, so I'm going to uh, stop doing that, and I think I'm going to actually end the video here, um, because I have a lot to do today, and I, yeah, so uh, thank you, I'm sorry for rambling, but thank you for joining me today and watching this super long video, sorry about it being so long, I mean, unless you enjoy that kind of thing, it, let me know, because... I typically do have my videos incredibly long, but I shorten them by a lot to get to about like the 15 minute range, 10 to 15, like 9 to 15 minute, depending on the content. Um, but today this video is like over 20 minutes. Um, so let me know if you actually enjoy the longer videos or if you prefer the shorter ones, because I mean, I can, I can figure it out and I can make it work. Just 
let me know. <laughs> Um, but yeah, thank you for joining me today, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye.